This is number six for the second test. Um, and this is a, a word problem. And the nice one about this is you're not actually doing any math for it. You're just trying to figure out how this equation is set up. So the amount of money M in dollars Paul earns can be represented by the equation M for money equals 12.5 H plus 11. So 12.5 times H plus 11, where H is the number of hours Paul works. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the number 11, this number, in the equation? So we just have to figure out what this number represents. So the first choice is, is the amount of money in dollars Paul earns per hour. So this is his hourly wage. That's what they're asking. Is there, are they saying that 11 is how much he makes an hour? Is he making $11 an hour? Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is the total amount of money in dollar Paul earns after working eight after working H hours. So they're asking if this is if 11 is the total. Is he making just $11 um, totally? And that's not the case because M is the total amount. It's the amount that he makes f f uh, a week. So the next one we go is the amount of money in dollars. Paul earns after working one hour. So they're asking, is $11 his hourly rate? Is he making $11 an hour? So this one and this one are the same. So obviously, um, it, it's not going to be both. So you can cross off both of those. So that leaves us this one and possibly this one. The amount of money in dollars Paul earns in addition to his hourly wage. So we've already figured out that H, H is the number of hours he works. So 12.5 is his hourly wage. So he's making $12.50 an hour. So they're not asking what his dollar, uh, his hourly wage is. They're asking the additional amount to his hourly wages, which is 11. So it's letter D. So this is basically you understanding how this word problem is set up. You're not doing any multiplication, division, anything. You're just taking it apart and answering this question. So they're asking you, uh, what is this $11? And possibly if you want to think about it this way, he's making $12.50. Okay, so if he worked 10 hours, so if you had uh, 1250 times 10, that would translate into 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. Move the decimal place over. He's making $125 for working 10 hours. And then on top of that, he's making an additional $11. I used to work in a restaurant and they would give me, I can't remember how much it was, but I think they gave me $10 a week or $15 a week extra every week for laundry to clean my uniform. So this is extra. Maybe it's his travel expense. Maybe it's just some kind of bonus. Who knows? But some jobs will give you a weekly bonus uh, for a lot of different reasons or to cover some kind of expense. So that's what the extra is. So he would have made $125 plus $11. So that would have taken it up to um, $136 in that week.